Hello, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating the installation of Ricochet AM skids front and rear on a 2018 Polaris Ranger 1000. Uh, the first thing you need to do before you do your uh, AM skids is to pull the, uh, the factory plastic guard off. I've already done it on this side. This side I'll demonstrate. There's two rivets to hold it on. You just have to drill the rivets out. Okay. Once you get your flaps off, the factory guards off, then you're ready to set your ricochet skid in place and start the installation on that. Um, before you do that though, I like to get anti-seize on all my bolts. You'll definitely want to use anti-seize on these bolts with the clamps. So you're going to take your uh, A-arm skid get it up into position and start one of the front clamps first. If you start one of the front then you just let it hang and it'll stay put. If you go to the rear, um, if you start one of the rear ones you can't let it hang it'll just fall off. Right there you can just let it hang and then you can just go ahead and start the rest of your hardware. And this procedure is pretty much the same for all of our A-arm skids. Um, you know, the hardware might be a little bit different or this or that, depending on the machine, but it's essentially the same procedure as far as getting into place, getting all the hardware started, using anti-seize, checking for clearance. I'll show you that once we get everything on a little bit better. Okay, once you get all the hardware started, you kind of just set it up where you think it's going to fit the best. And I'm just going to tighten one of these clamps down here just so it'll stay, stay put. Okay, so that's not going to go anywhere. Now before we fully tighten the plate down, this is where we need to check for clearance. So, you know, you need to have the the wheels up in the air so there's no load on the suspension. All your, all your clearances are going to be as tight as they're going to be at full droop. So make sure, like I say, your wheels are off the ground, there's no load on the suspension at all, and you're just going to turn the wheel all the way over to lock, check around the brake caliper, make sure you have clearance there, this is looking good, and then we're going to come back the other way, and check your clearance there. That looks pretty good. Okay. Once you're happy with all your clearance, then uh, you can go ahead and tighten everything down. Okay, so that takes care of the uh, the front arm skid for the video. I'm just going to install the one side, but it's the exact same pr procedure for the other side. And now we can install a rear. Okay, so in the rear there's no guard or anything to remove, so you're just ready to go right out of the gate. Um, this has a, a bar clamp with two short bolts. 
Got two long bolts with uh, washers and nuts. I'm going to fit the two long bolts first. There's already holes in your A arm for the factory. You're just going to set the skid plate into place. Line it up the hole, run the bolt all the way through. Slide the washer over the bolt, followed by the nut. We can do the bar clamp and these two bolts. Put a little anti seize on the shorter ones. And this bar clamp, you're just going to drop it into the top. There's a little channel that's going to fit down into. Just drop it down to that channel. And then line it up with the uh, slots and the arm skid. And start the thread. And do the same thing with the other one. And then you can tighten it down. There's really no th nothing to check as far as clearance goes. You know, since your tires aren't, you know, rotating, pivoting to turn the machine loose. So there's really not much to check clearance wise. And we'll take a look at it, but there shouldn't be any issues. Should just be able to slap on all the hardware and tighten it down. Okay, there's the outboard holes. In the inboard holes, you need to put a wrench on that nut just to keep it from spinning. Takes care of the, uh, the rear arm installation. You can see really not much to check clearance wise back there. And like I say, this A arm installation it's pretty much the same for all of our machines. Um, you know, check your clearance on the front. Um, there's like I say, not much difference from this to any other machine. Just you know, maybe some of the hardware or whatnot. But it's essentially the same procedure. So this video can kind of be used if you have questions in general about anything else. So. So that, uh, like I say, takes care of the front arms. Those are aluminum. And then we got our half-inch UHMW belly skids on. And in the next video, I'll uh, demonstrate the floorboard. Thanks for watching.